Namaste everyone and welcome to Data Millennials. In this series, we are going to learn SQL language. We will start from the basic SQL queries to high level data manipulation queries. When I say high level manipulation, it involves real life interview based questions and we will be practicing each of them by getting our hands dirty with practical and theoretical part. So let's get started. Assume your teacher asks you to count the number of students present in your class. What will you do? You will start counting one by one, right? But let's assume you have a database named as a school in a system and you have to count the number of students in a table named as class. Then what will you do? You cannot just ask your database to tell the count and suppose in case you want to do that, you have to write a computer language or a computer understand understandable language to count to get the count which is shown here the query which is select class count student id from school dot class here school is the database and class is a table and you can see the output in which it has reflected for class 10 we have 171 students this is the simplest sql query to get the count of a particular column Yes, you heard it right, column. In SQL database, data is stored in rows and column fashion where each column represents the name and type of data, whereas row contains value of their respective column on which you can run your mathematical function like some average etc. So let me ask you one thing, what comes in your mind when I show you this query or when I say SQL, do you feel scared? when you think you have to learn SQL to process your day-to-day -day work? Let me be very, very clear. You absolutely not have to worry or are scared of SQL. It's a fun language and you will also love it once you have some hands-on experience on it. Have you ever wondered why everyone say you have to learn SQL in order to be a software developer or an analyst or a data, or a data scientist? I'll tell you why. Because SQL is the language which helps them extract, manipulate, maintain, insert and manage records every day. SQL makes your life so much easier with the manipulation of data which would take a lot of time when you will doing it manually. Now think of a scenario where you have, you have, you are working in a company and suddenly your boss asks you to check if the sales data which is getting captured in a particular table is correct or not and if it's correct then you have to get the total sales figure for that year also how will you complete this task think about it i would suggest you to pause this video for a minute and think for a solution write down your solution to us in the comment box well let's get back to our scenario so i am the one who is ne who required to complete this task then the first thing I'll do to check the sales data is that I have to find out where the tables are stored. This means that I have to know the database name, where the sales related tables are residing. If I know the database name, then I have to find out the exact name of sales table so that I can get the entire data at once. But in real life, you will rarely see that you can get the entire data from a single table. But as we are at the beginning of the series and we have just started working on SQL, we would suppose that there is a table named as sales in a database XYZ from where we can get all the sales data which we require. Now I have to think about the way I need to see the data to determine whether the data makes any sense or not. So to do that, I have to write a query, a simple select query, something like this. Either I can write select star from XYZ dot sales to see the entire data set which is present in sales. It will show me the entire columns and their values. Once I see the values, then I will be able to decide whether it whether the data makes any sense or not. Once I am satisfied with the data, then I will run the second query where I will select my attributes and then I will take the total revenue by summing the sales amount right and once we ran this query we will have our required data in front of us now we can also check whether the data make any sense or not and if it makes the sense then we also give the total revenue to my boss which makes his life easier as well as mine 
See how simple it is. You just have to investigate and find out the database name, then the table name where data is residing and then you have to write a simple query to get the data. Well, at this point, you might have a feeling that, okay, you got an idea why and where I will require SQL as it might help you as well as me as a primary tool for any data analysis. It's very easy to create, modify, insert new data and update the existing table in SQL. But you also have some question in your mind that what exactly is SQL? So let's go through the some definition stuff of SQL. SQL stands for Structure Query Language. It is a standard language for storing, manipulating and retrieving data in database. SQL was initially released in 1986 and it was designed by Donald D. Camberlin and Raymond. SQL was based upon relational algebra and tuple relational calculus. It consists of many type of statement which may be informally classified as sub-languages, commonly known as data query language, data definition language, data control language and data manipulation language. The scope of SQL includes data query, data manipulation. This data manipulation includes insert, update and delete. The third one is data definition which includes schema creation and modification and the last one is data access control where you provide access to user how they should access the data whether they can edit a table or not. So this is the intro of SQL. In our next video I'll show you where you can run a query and how to retrieve data from a table. Hey, if you find this video insightful, then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button.